I come from a crazy kind of family, uh, a religious family, though there are no divorces in my family. Several murders. <laughs> my one aunt and uncle almost got a divorce over what my aunt called bedroom problems, and my uncle even agreed to go to a sex clinic, but he got drunk and went in the Amco transmission shop. <laughs> they still have problems, but now he doesn't rattle. Harvey's an exciting town. 40,000 people live in Harvey, 20,000 are black and 20,000 are white, and they haven't had a racial incident since 1965. Though, they expect a little bit of trouble next July when the 20,000 black people get out of jail. <laughs> I was the littlest guy in my neighborhood. You know what, if you're the littlest guy in your neighborhood, invariably you try to make friends with the toughest guys, right? Toughest guy in my neighborhood was a black guy named Gucci Nicholson. Gucci was tough. Young kids today brag about they know how to use Kung Fu. Gucci knew how to use car tool. <laughs> and Gucci was smart. Some of the black guys in my neighborhood weren't very smart. They thought I was a Chinese guy named Seifu. <laughs> Every day I walked by, they'd holler, Seifu! But you really learn a lot from one another, you really do. That's really what America's all about. It's an exchange of all these different cultures and you can learn from one another. Gucci taught me a word black people use that white people don't use. A-H-M-O, amo. Amo, kick your butt. <laughs> I hung out in the corner all the time with Gucci. My mom was always afraid I'd end up in prison, so she decided to send me to Catholic school, which I think is great training if you plan on going to prison. When you get in trouble, and when I went to Catholic school in the off, you'd get in trouble. The first thing, you know, they'd do is send you down to Mother Superior, and they'd spank your hands with a ruler. First day, I got in trouble. Yes, they, they sent me down to Mother Superior first day, and Mother Superior, I, they said, Thomas, this is Mother Superior. Well, I'd been hanging around with Gucci. I said, yo, Mama, what's happening? <laughs> and she went in the drawer to get the ruler. And I got scared, but I remember something Gucci taught me. He said, if you're ever afraid, don't act like you're afraid. You got a wolf. See, wolfing is acting like you're not afraid. So when she went in the drawer to get the ruler, I said, hey, you better be pulling out a gun. <laughs> That's right, I'm talking to you, Batman's wife. <laughs> she went. I said, damn, baby, I was only fooling. I came from a poor family. See, I had eight brothers and sisters, and we're very poor. Five of us slept in one bed. I didn't mind coming from a large family, except for one thing, hand-me-downs. See, I had an older sister. One day in high school, the teacher and I had on the same dress. And he was a lot madder than I was. You're a great group. Thank you. Good night.